So we just got done talking about the Intercontinental Championship, and very much in the same boat is the United States Championship. Rumors are going around that John Cena is going to win it, and that that will elevate the title and make that one of the most featured things on every pay-per-view. And some other people think that maybe Rusev can still retain it and still accomplish the same kind of thing. Uh, we talked a little bit about it in the last part, so go back and click on that if you haven't listened to that yet. But is this the time for Rusev to lose? No. Nope, but the story they're telling John Cena for all the reasons that we've seen in wrestling in the past should win, but I don't want to see it because we've all said it. If Rusev meets Cena and hits that roadblock, he's done. I don't know if he's strong enough to bounce back. Most people aren't. Especially if he doesn't have Lana with him. Shit. Mm. Yeah, that's fucking true. I hope they don't bring back Herpaderp. <laughs> Mr. Um, Mr. Totally Russian guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. I, Mr. I am. I am. That, that, that's his name, Mr. Totally Russian Burger. <laughs> I don't think I would want to try a Russian burger. First things first, this match will suck. Second thing, Lol Cena wins. I don't think this match will suck. I didn't think their match at Fastlane was too bad. I thought it was above average at that. It was what I expected at the Dude, I expect the same here. Though I really hope that Rusev wins because I, I like you guys said, it's just it's gonna be if it's a little Cena win situation. I don't know what they could do with Rusev that can make him seem relevant. You know, Cena has been in the roadblock in the past. I mean, with Bray Wyatt, they had to take him off television and bring him back at one point to bring things right back anything to. back to him. Ryback as well. Uh, with Ryback, he lost prestige when Cena got injured, though, and they put him in the main event. So I don't uh, know if you want to get stronger shit then. Yeah, um, well, as soon as they turned him heel, though, I think that was his issue. But yeah, you you're know, right. You know what fucked up Ryback? Oh, was Mark fucking Henry losing to Mark Henry and then getting a title shot at the next pay per view anyway. Yeah. Well, it, when it comes to this match, if Cena wins, then I'm going to be disappointed, and that might be the biggest travesty of the night. If any, out of everything, he Rusev needs the title more than Cena does. Cena. Where he will elevate the title, if they keep it on Rusev and they push this Russian thing even more, be more controversial with it, I think that they could bring a lot to the title and the more meaning it would bring if someone were to beat Rusev down the line, whether it be Cena again if they face off or get a Roman Reigns or so, just someone else. I think they have there's money with beating Rusev. I just don't think it should be right now. They could wait for SummerSlam. Or if they want to, they could go another year with this. I think they could find people to face, have them face in the meantime. I don't think he needs to face Jack Swagger each week. But look at the Intercontinental Championship match. You have like five faces in that match that could easily face Rusev at one point. You have Brian, Ziggler, Ambrose, and not Archer, but yeah. There's still a place for local talent jobbers. I'm just saying. <laughs> and there's only one guy in the company that really should beat Rusev right now, and if if that depends if they're going to keep him face and keep pushing him, and that's Reigns. Those guys are tailor-made for each other. See, though, if you bring the local jobbers, that doesn't elevate the title. It doesn't need to elevate the title. I'm not talking bring them in for title matches at pay-per-views. He'll just destroy them each week and elevate himself. Yeah, I'm saying I still it for think Raw. That, that doesn't do anything for Raw. Okay. Well, it's what they did for Raw for... It's what wrestling did for years and years and years. I, mean, I don't know but how people could argue with that. Aren't we trying to get away from what they've been doing for years and years and years because it's not... No, we're trying no, to get away from what they've right been doing giving, since 1998, and that's what they fucked up on. They giving, got built on something the that shit away on television. Mm-hmm. I don't know. See, to me, if somebody beats a bunch of jobbers, unless it's something really special to it, it doesn't matter at all to me. Ryback was the only one that I can think of that mattered. Funkasaurus beating a bunch of people didn't give a shit. Rusev, when he was beating Xavier Woods and lower people than even him, didn't care. I think so, Rusev needs to start facing two people, I believe. I think that might help him out. Well, Put two people in the clutch. <laughs> so if Rusev loses here, how do they fix it? They They're not going to be able to fix um, it. Um, you know what they will do? They'll do the rematch, and then they'll put him in some like feud with like Daniel Bryan because they think that'll save him. Kind of like how they thought putting Roman Reigns against Daniel Bryan in a fast lane will fix all the wrongs by giving Daniel Bryan the seal of approval. But I don't know what they could do to fix him. Unless they Short have something. Beating Brock Lesnar, nothing. 
Yeah, so it's just, unless they have something planned that we're not seeing right now, because you know Vince McMahon's supposed to like he knows more better than us in most situations. I don't know what they could do with him if that could save him. They're, they if they have something planned, then yeah, good for him. But I don't know what they could do without uh, completely scratching the Rusev thing. But even if they get rid of Rusev completely and bring him back as something else, it's not like with uh, Husky Harris and Bray Wyatt. You're gonna you know who he is. This guy was not was definitely not the biggest name, one of the biggest names on your show for the past year. They wouldn't be able to get away with him with that. So it's going to be a tough situation if they do have him lose. So is anybody going with Rusev winning? I am. I, I will be I'm bald. Still mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still pulling for it. There's a difference between pulling for it and picking it. Are you picking it? I'm picking it. That's what I'm saying. I'm oh, going awesome. with that one. That, that, oh. like, that they've spent this entire year building this guy. And for me to think... <clears throat> that they're gonna do that just for a lull. Cena wins on the undercard. I, I don't. I don't think that makes any sense. I wouldn't be surprised if they have to do it just to keep Cena happy. You think Cena really cares? I don't know. Like I, I didn't. I never. I never. Cons- I never considered Cena to be that type of guy. Yeah. Until I listened to Chris Jericho and Edge. With the whole Wade Barrett thing, and pretty much Cena advocated for him to bury him. No, no. It's seen as, apparently, Cena saw something different than them, and then afterwards he realized that he fucked up as soon as they were done, apparently. Like, I know what the interview you were talking about, but... Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, f- Cena, I think Cena understands the situation right now. He faced Bray Wyatt last year, and I don't know if he what he thought about that and how he is now. I mean, Bray Wyatt's facing The Undertaker, so he probably... If anything, Cena thinks he helped elevate Bray Wyatt... But man, he you this is like your one chance you have at making Rusev something. And if you f- fuck this up, you're gonna f- just another monster heel that loses a uh, little Cena. And actually, yeah. Rusev is a very interesting character too. So they just fuck that up completely. And I, the other reason why I think they might have to keep him happy, just think about it. He's a guy that's been on top probably longer than the good majority of their top guys. And now they're phasing him out, and they're doing it subtly, and they're keeping him strong, but. He's got to know that his time's up. He Find makes not mi- now. He makes millions of dollars a year. He he doesn't need to worry about his image yeah. anymore. People are still gonna buy his stuff. No no no. You're, you're, you're perfectly right. Still... He shouldn't. Doesn't mean he doesn't. doesn't. Frankly, they don't need him anymore. I'm just gonna say if John Cena left the night after WrestleMania, WWE will be fine. Please don't talk about my emotions. <laughs> WWE. Let's be fair. WWE has never truly been dependent on one guy. They can make over stars, but I don't know, man. Two thousand six to two thousand nine, they were very dependent on John Cena. <laughs> yeah, that's well, their own fault because well, the way they booked the product. You're crediting NXT for bring, having all this great talent up there. If they got rid of Cena, then we'd be able to tell if they would be able to utilize that talent. You know I'm, they will. I'm saying because... even on the main roster. I mean, we got if you're talking about like big name, you got your Brock Lesnar there. You got all these guys Fine. that are already established up there. You got your Roman Reigns, your Dean Ambrose, your Seth Rollins, your Dolph Ziggler, your Daniel Bryan. They're fine. Cena can go. If he's not happy, if he's not happy doing the right thing here, doors over there, buddy. Thanks for your work for the last 12 years. We're done. <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, Vince doesn't see it that way either, unfortunately. But I actually completely agree with you. If I was running it, I think that would be the obvious way to go. Yeah, I'm not saying you're not I'm not saying you're wrong, Peyton. I'm just saying I there's a good chance that he might be that type oh. of guy. It's a it's a scenario they run him when they have these big guys and it's, they try and phase him out. And you're not wrong because you know what? We know how 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 Hulk Hogan is and was and still is. <laughs> no ho ho ho. <laughs> no. Well, fun and fact. Like, good. No, I was just gonna say, just a f- quick fun fact, just uh, about the John Cena thing. Uh, Dario did an interview after he left, and he said John Cena was the best person he ever worked with because everything made sense when Cena did it. So I don't know. It's pretty sketchy if you say that. And like, who was Edge to shit talk John Cena? Like, how much John Cena, Cena gave Edge his story? big break? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It wasn't so much shit talking him. It was highlighting an incident where Cena really fucked a guy over. Yeah, well, how about that time where, uh, freaking, what was it? Um, was it Brodus Clay wasn't going to be on WrestleMania or something like that? And he was like, John Cena was like, hold on, I have to go to the bathroom really fast. Why don't you send Brodus out there to do it? Oh, that's just a story. You don't know if that's true or not, though. Well, we don't know if this other thing is true either. They're both just stories. That's true. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, 
couple more matches still to go on the card. One of the big ones coming up next, as if the Rusev Cena one wasn't big enough, but we've got Triple H and Sting. Sting! Sting!